June 17th, we've passed the halfway point. It's currently day 31. So I don't know if it's a 55 or a 60 day incubation period, that depends upon temperature, but either way, we're more than halfway through. The eggs are not doing very well at all. I'm bummed. I don't have Vela here with me, I don't think she really wants to be in this video. Here's the eggs on June 8th. And you can notice that a lot more dimpling had happened. That's what it's called when these depressions occur, it's called dimpling. I was mistaken because I thought that seeing some of this earlier, in fact if you check out part two, there was some dimpling already going on there, I thought that was normal. Um, again, I've never done this before, I've never hatched any before, and uh, the, the dimpling that I was seeing in other videos, I was watching some videos of the pythons hatching out of eggs. So the videos I was seeing, these were eggs that were about to hatch, they were dimpled because the eggs will normally dimple like this about two weeks away from hatching. Now we're looking at like an eight or nine week process, and so mine were dimpling three weeks into it, this was not a good sign. I just did not know enough to recognize that yet. But by the time it got to June 8th, I realized this is, ha this is way more dimpling than it should be. These depressions are getting too large. I started tweeting out for help. <laughs> I started, I, I seriously just went to Twitter, typed in the hashtag ball python, and anybody who had pictures of them with eggs and their pythons, I tweeted at them for help. So sorry if you were part of that tweet storm, but I was desperate. June 14th, one of the eggs also started to have some discoloration and uh, the dimpling had not improved. I was um, taking the advice of some who had, who had reached back out to me and I increased the humidity. When the egg was is doing something like this, the way the eggshell works, it has to breathe in oxygen. So oxygen needs to pass through this semi-permeal membrane that the eggshell is. The egg has to breathe but also it has to absorb moisture through this and you gotta have a good balance between that because if it's too covered with moisture the oxygen can't get in and the egg essentially drowns but when the egg is losing mass like this because that's another thing they felt lighter and lighter the egg losing mass that's a indicator that it's it's not getting in enough moisture and in fact it's losing moisture so that's why the humidity has to be maintained I was going at an 80 to 85 percent humidity because some online resources showed me that. And if anything, here's just a lesson that um, you want to do more research than I guess I did. I didn't find, the first few that I found, and I found a number of them, said 80 to 85 percent. Or they just said things like high humidity. Really, I needed to be more in the 90s. So I got that humidity up by June 14th. I moistened my vermiculite more, and I even put a container with water in there and I got it up to around 90, 91, 92, 93 percent. That's about as good as I've been able to get. I've tried more, but you don't want to have it too loaded with water. By the next day, June 15th, that discolored egg looked even worse. I'm pretty sure at this point it's a goner. I got a lot of, uh, a lot of support from both Megan Hellhound and another uh, person on Twitter who breeds pythons, Papaya Python. Uh, they told me things that were encouraging. It was it was nice to hear. Um, don't beat yourself up too much about this. You weren't prepared. The eggs are tougher than they look. They're tougher than you think. If there's veins, there's still hope. And so I'm clinging and clutching onto that because uh, there are still veins in three of them that do look well connected. Do look like they are they are still showing signs of life. Also, hey, congratulations for getting them halfway, and you know, I, I try to, I try to use that as, as inspiration. Um, you know, I'm not going to give up no matter what. I'm not going to give up until they're all gone. But at the same time, I don't want to pat myself on the back. That's just not who I am. I'm not going to pat myself on the back for getting them halfway. I will sort of pat myself on the back if I get any across the finish line. And at this point too, you know, I was back when this all started and I had five viable eggs. I was going to be excited for five new pythons. At this point, I will be way more excited if even just one makes it. Because I'm pretty bad at this. Again, yeah, it's 
it's tough to do. I was unprepared for this, so I, I can at least say that if I had seen this coming, I would have done a lot more research ahead of time and not be in this mess. Come June 15th, Papaya Pythons also said it's time to get them straight into the vermiculite. Some people go this route, other people aren't for it, but I wanted to do whatever I could. So if somebody who's got a lot of experience is telling me it's time to do this, I did it. Here are the eggs now, and they're in the vermiculite. Uh, discoloration has continued in that bad egg, and we'll see where it goes from here. But I'm, I'm of course, hoping for the best. As far as videos I've made, this is probably the least enjoyable to make. And I don't really feel like doing a lot more bad updates. So here's the deal. I The next update is either going to have good news or it's just going to be the last update that lets you know none of it worked. I don't want to keep on informing you of every little step of the way. Here's some more bad news. Here's some more. So if you've been watching this, um, I don't know when the next update will be. There will be at least one more, and if there is, if they don't make it, that'll be the last one, of course. But I don't really feel like updating more on this, unless I've got something good to say. Or, if they didn't make it, at least give you closure and let you know how it went. So, see you next time, and I hope I got something good to say. And I won't leave you in suspense, either. Uh, the thumbnail will let you know which way it went.